Hi everybody, it's Amanda back from Amanda Rose Tarot. Sorry you guys, all my loyal subscribers out there that I haven't been on in a few days. Um, if you check my community page, you've seen that um, my mother was in the hospital, so I had been going down to see her. Um, so my days were tied up and I wasn't really able to do a video for you guys. I was just trying to get, you know, my personal readings done um, for everybody who had paid. Um, I wanted to make sure they got their videos. So I am back to do another reading. My mom is home. She's doing well. Um, so I'm ready to do another reading for you guys. I really miss you guys. Uh, hopefully you miss me too. Um, but this reading is going to be about who's missing you and what did they miss? What do they miss about you? So we have three piles today to choose from. Um, the cards that I'm using are the Witch's Wisdom Oracle, um, two cards from the Oceanic Tarot, and then two cards from the Golden Tarot. I'm also going to do charms for this reading. Um, because I haven't done that in quite a while and I know you guys really like the charms. So I'm going to do that for this reading as well. So let's get right to the icons. The first one that you have is this kitty cat and it says stop staring at me. So that is option number one. Number two is this kitty cat and it says you amuse me. So that is number two. And the third reading is this cute kitty cat. And it says, I'm sorry. So those are the three options that you have to choose from. So I'm just going to be quiet for a second, let you focus on which icon you're drawn to, and then we'll begin your reading. Okay, so if you pick the first reading this kitty cat and it says stop staring at me so this person maybe um maybe they do like you maybe they do like to stare at you okay the first card that you got is the four of pentacles hopefully you guys can see these cards there is a bit of a glare here so i do apologize the next card that you got is the ace of pentacles so lots of pentacles. The next card that you got is the Page of Cups and the keyword is imagination. The next card that you got is the Four of Cups and the keyword is boredom. And the final card that you got is the Chalice and the keyword is fulfillment. Okay, wonderful. So let's start right off with this card, the Chalice card. So this is very reminiscent of the Ace of Cups. Um, however, in the Witch's Wisdom, it is a little bit different. Um, it's still about um, abundance, definitely. It's about um, goodness overflowing. Um, but it's also about the magic of the old ways and... Um, it's really, um, the witches used to pass around these, these chalices to share the blessings. So they'd pass around this glass of wine and, you know, they would all, um, be blessed from it. So this is about good things happening in your life. Um, it's saying that you're nearly there and you could actually receive an unexpected visit from this person who is missing you. Um, this also talks about something missing turning back up. So this could be a person that you've been missing in your life and they, they're turning back up. They also could be a water sign, so that would be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, but this is really about fulfillment. The key word is fulfillment. So it's it's getting what you seek and, um, you know, it's overflowing desire, abundance, happiness, um, and not really worrying about other people's opinions is also what it mentions in this card. So 
maybe this person who's missing you, they're, they're going to unexpectedly, they're going to come back into your life. And I feel like they're, they're done worrying about the opinions of others. Okay. And then you've got the four of cups. So more cups energy. Um, whoever this person who is missing you is, um, they're going through a period where um, they're really dissatisfied in their love life. Um, they could be going through a period where there's nothing really happening and they just want to be happier. Um, they're going through this boring phase where they've kind of lost hope in love and they're retreating. Maybe they're feeling a little bit depressed, uh, but they really need to reach out to you. Um, they need to renew their faith and they need to make some sort of move. So I feel like they could be a little bit stubborn, whoever this person is. Um, they have this cup of love that they want to offer you, but yet they're just kind of, um, they're not doing it. They need to, but they're not. And then you've got the Page of Cups. So like I said, this person, they could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or this just could be the element that they're most presenting right now, you know, because we have lots of different um zodiac signs within us our moon sign our sun sign um, our rising sign so this person right now they are focusing on love that's that's why they miss you that's what they're missing from you um, they really want this com com companionship with you and i feel like they do kind of want to come out of this this rut that they've been stuck in so they're thinking of coming in um, maybe they want to make you a love offer or they're contemplating making you a love offer. I think that um, this person, they think that you're a really good company. They think that you're playful, um, that you're a lot of fun to be around. So maybe you guys have this really good friendship and um, they have this news of love that they want to bring into you um, rep represented by this cup. So um, this person, I feel like they're young at heart. Either they're young or they're young at heart and they really want to have this love with you. They want things to flourish. They want things to start up. They want things to, um, you know, move to the next level. So I feel like this person, um, they may want to propose to you. Okay. Okay. And with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like um, this is wanting to start something new. So um, it's it's something that's just starting up. Um, so a new relationship um, that's very stable, that's very comfortable, that makes you happy, um, that's prosperous, that, you know, maybe has some um, material things to offer. So it's like... Um, this person could come, want to come in and they could want to start this new relationship with you and they could actually want to maybe give you an unexpected gift or, you know, they, they just want to start something more solid. Um, maybe in the past, you know, things were a little bit rocky, but this time I feel like they want something very, very solid. And then the final card that you have is the Four of Pentacles. So with all the Pentacles, this could be an Earth sign. So um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could also be this person's sign. Um, but I think they have a lot of confidence. And I think they are very stable right now as far as financially. I think this person, they're doing very good as far as their business, their career, um, they're having a lot of material success and I feel like this person they they have this firm foundation and um, they could have uh, a nice home or maybe they're purchasing a new home or they're um, doing renovations to their home but I feel like um, this person um, financially they they're making the right decisions and I feel like um, if they were insecure in the past, they feel like they're more secure now. They feel 
um, they have a firm foundation. So they, they do feel positive feelings about um, coming to be with you and letting you know that they're more secure now. You know, they have more to offer. And I feel like this person, um, they want to show you that. Maybe they want to give you um, some sort of, you know, gift to show you that they're more secure now. Um, so let's do some charms to get a little more information about this person um, who's missing you and some things that they really miss. Okay, well, I'm taking this out because this is a necklace that uh, I gave to my daughter. Okay, let's get a couple more because I had one that rolled and I'm not going to go get it, but I know what it is, so um, I'll, I will talk about it. Okay. All right. So um, you guys get this rose earring. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's, it's, it's kind of tiny, but um, it's a little rose. And roses are about love. They're about romance. And that's what this person is really missing. They're missing love and romance. Um, you've got this rainbow tree of life. So I feel like this person, um, they could have this very um, magnetic type of personality. I feel like um, a lot of people are attracted to this person. I feel like it's something to do with their energy, like um, their aura. I feel like their aura has a lot of different colors. Like they have this rainbow aura about them. And so a lot of people are attracted to this person, whoever this person is that is missing you. And they could miss, you know, your aura. And we've got this iridescent heart. So I'm getting... Um, definitely this person has some sort of aura that is very magnetic. Um, so they could have a very, very colorful aura. Um, they could be part of the rainbow tribe, but I'm, I'm feeling more like aura, um, with this heart. I feel like this person, they have so much love for you. Um, they just miss that. They miss the love that you guys had because I feel like it was very romantic um, with this tree of life, I feel like they, they want to grow. They want to be a family together. And with this heart that's got a hole in it, I feel like this person, they feel like they've got a hole in their heart. I feel like they're really missing you and they feel incomplete without you. And then you've got this yellow earring and yellow is about the sun. It's about, um, memories of the past, um, it's about having a positive attitude and being happy. So maybe this person, they see you as very happy and they miss that about you. And then you've got this translucent bead. So I feel like they do want to be clear with you. They do want to let you know how they feel. And with the orange, I feel like this person, um, they want an opportunity with you. They want a new opportunity to celebrate with you. Um, they feel this joy when they're around you, and I feel like they miss that. You are their joy. You are their romance. Um, you fill their heart up, and they're just attracted to your aura. You have this really colorful aura. Uh, maybe you guys both do. Maybe you guys both are very attractive people, and it doesn't have to be just physically. It can be just your your aura that people are really attracted to you, and I think you mutually have that those feelings towards each other. So, um, oh, we've got one more here. Oh, and I wanted to tell you the one that fell on the floor. I saw it. It was a black um, bead, and black is about banishing negativity. Um, so I feel like this person, they want to banish any negative feelings that you have towards them. And also black is about, it's classy. It's kind of a classy color. So I feel like this person, uh, they're very classy. Um, they're very sleek. They're very sexy. There's something about them. And this last bead that you got, this is blue. And blue is about calm. It's about forgiveness. It's about water, again. Um, it can also be about sadness. Um, so I, I feel like this person really misses you. 
and they want to come in and they want to start something new with you. So that's all I have for you, number one. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. The link is down below. Okay, so for those of you who pick number two, You Amuse Me, let's see um, who's missing you and what do they miss. Okay, so the first card that you got is the Ten of Pentacles. The next card that you got is the Nine of Pentacles. The next card that you got is the King of Swords, and the keyword is Ambition. So this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The next card that you have is the Six of Wands, and the keyword is Success. And the final card that you have is the Watchtower of the South, and the keyword is Summer. Okay, so... Um, this person, let's go over this card first. Very beautiful card. So I think this is definitely an old flame. I think this is someone who wants to rekindle that romance with you. Um, I feel like this person, um, they, they're they seeking the fruit of their labors. I feel like they're ready to um, breathe um, breathe life back into this relationship and I feel like um, they want to work really hard towards this connection and I think that it's going to be a time where you guys are really going to enjoy um, the reward of being together. Um, I feel like um, this is going to physically manifest into something very solid. I think that um, it's going to be an awakening of lust, attraction, desire. There's really a flame that's going to be ignited between you and this person. So I feel like it's some sort of new um, passion and it's going to be bestowed upon you and it's going to bring you abundance. Um, whoever this is, there's a lot of passion here. Um, with the Six of Wands, I think that this person... Um, they do want success with you. Whoever this is, they really, really want success with you. I feel like um, they worked very, very hard. Um, also with the summer card, I'm, I'm getting that this person worked really hard. So you guys might have put a lot of energy into this relationship. And I feel like it's been acknowledged. It's been acknowledged the work that you put in in the past. This person really... Um, they miss that. They miss all of the effort that you put into this connection. I feel like um, there's going to be some sort of love offer coming in for you from this person. It's going to be some sort of new romantic offer. It could be a proposal of marriage. And I feel like this person, they don't want to hold back. Um, they really think that you deserve this. And they could even want to take you on a vacation somewhere, somewhere that's warm. Um, they want victory with you and they want to show you um, that they've really noticed you. Okay, and this person, they could be an air sign, like I said, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person, I feel like they're very clever. They're very strong leader. Um, so professionally, they would be doing very well in whatever career um, they're, they're doing. I feel like this person, um, they can exert pressure on you. So this person, you can probably feel, um, this person, they're impatient. They're very impatient. They want success. Um, they also, they're a thinker and they always have these great ideas. Um, they're also very, very charming, whether they're a man or a woman. Um, I think that, um, you know, they, um, they want something with you. And I think mentally, um, they're thinking about this very, very strongly. Um, but they're looking at all the facts before they make a decision. Um, they haven't made a decision yet, but they're mentally, they're thinking about it very, very, very much. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I think this person, they... Um, their money is flowing. I think that um, they're calm right now. They're in this relaxed state. Um, they they have 
um, seen the fruit of their labors. So now they, they're getting pleasure from it. They can kind of sit back and relax a little bit. Um, I think that other people are naturally attracted to this person. They could come across as very confident. Um, I feel like um, everything is going well for this person as far as like their family life. There's, there's no fighting. I feel like uh, it's just there's um, just a calm energy around this person. And I feel like this person brings you pleasure, happiness, um, you know, and they're very attracted to you. And I think it's mutual. I think that the attraction is very, very mutual. I feel a lot of passion in this, in this connection. And then the final card that you have is the Ten of Pentacles. So this person, whoever they are, they're missing just being with you. They really want this happy marriage with you. I feel like they want to celebrate with you. They want to make you some sort of love offer. And I feel like um, they want something stable, something long term. Um, I feel like this person, they've been working very hard. And I think their wealth is very good right now. They have a lot of um, savings. I feel like this person, they've been saving very hard. And because of that, they can kind of sit back. They're benefiting now from all of the previous hard work. And I think um, they see you as the shining light. And I think they don't want to hold back anymore. They really want to let you know that um, this is what they want with you. They want something long term. They see success with you. They have this passion for you. And I really feel like this is an old flame. So they could be an air sign. Um, they could be an earth sign. They could even be a fire sign. So um, let's get some charms for you, number two. Um, for what do they really miss? But um, they, they miss, they just miss the passion, I feel like. Okay, I got that one last time, so I'm sorry. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper. I normally don't do that, but that's what I want to do, so I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. So this person, we've got the little ear. Um, this, to me, this is, this person is listening to you. So if you have a blog, if you have a YouTube, if you have things that you're posting on your social media, this person, they're listening to what you say. If you're in communication with this person, oh, they listen to every word you say and they probably read back the comments and they, they listen. With this seashell, I feel like this person, maybe they've kind of been in a shell and they want to get out of that. Or maybe they see you, maybe they see you as kind of this hermit and they want to get you out of that hermit mode. Um, with the badge here, I feel like this person, um, they really feel protective of you. I feel like they want to protect you, they want to serve you, they want to take care of you and they want to make sure that you're safe. And you've got this this heart with a hole in it. So I feel like this person, they do feel incomplete without you. They do feel like there is a hole in their heart when they're not with you. And you've got this orange star. So orange is about creativity. It's about joy, ambition, opportunity, celebration. And I feel like this person... Um, they just see you as a star and you just bring them so much joy. And that's one of the things that they miss about you. And we've got two more that are orange. So there's a lot of orange here. So this person, you bring them so much joy and they really want this new opportunity with you. Um, I feel like they, some of them out there, they may be dealing with some legal issues because we've got the the Knight of Swords, and we've got all of this orange. So I feel like some of them, and we've got the badge too, so some of them could be dealing with some legal issues. Um, and then you've got the yellow. So it's it's like um, this person sees you as their son. They see you as very happy. They see you as a positive person. Um, and then you've got this peace sign earring. And I noticed the pink. So this person, they really love you. They really care about you. 
they have this friendship with you and they have this strong affection for you also this green here this person um they want growth with you also they um they think about success and money and i feel like they want this new beginning with you they want to show you that they're very successful they're doing well so um, maybe they want to flex. They want to flex and show you and be like, yeah, I have money and look at me. So yeah, this person definitely misses you um, and they just miss your happiness, your joy. So that's all I have for you, number two. If you would like something more, um, shoot me an email, amandarosetarot at hotmail.com. Okay, and last but not least, um, if you picked I'm sorry. So this person, they could be sorry about something, the person that's missing you. You've got the Five of Swords. You've got the Knight of Cups. So this could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You've got the Lover's card, and the keyword is Choices. This could also be a Gemini. You've got the Hanged Man. Um, could be Pisces. And you've got the Watchtower of the East, and the keyword is Spring. So this is Air Energy, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so... This person, um, I feel like this person, um, they do have this strong attraction for you. I think they have this love for you. Um, I think this person is really thinking about the future and they're planning for the future with you. Um, I think they, they want to dedicate themselves to you. And I think there's a lot of emotions that they have for you. Um, there could be a separation right now with this person. Um, and I think if you are the feminine, you're kind of wondering about this person. You're wondering if they're going to make a decision to commit to you. Um, I feel like um, maybe they've been kind of cold towards you or they've been kind of in and out with their energy and I feel like um, they come in and they flirt with you and then they leave. So it's like, you're really wondering, does this person want to be with me long term or am I just one of their choices and they're only here to stay temporarily? So I think this person, um, whoever they are, I think they are coming into a place where they're looking for something more serious and I think they could be ready to commit. So it's, you know, going from just a flirty stage into wanting to commit to you. With the Knight of Cups, this person could actually want to come in with some sort of proposal. Um, I feel like this person, um, they have a lot of affection for you. They have a lot of love for you. I feel like they could be kind of a dreamy person or you just dream about this person a lot and they they show you this affection and I think it's um, you really want to be with this person long term but I feel like you're kind of frustrated because this person um, I feel like they lack focus like they come in they give you all of this attention and then maybe they're gone again and it's like you're dreaming of this person, you're dreaming of being with them, but you're really unsure of what they want. What do they want? Maybe they're uncertain about what they want, um, but I think they're, they're trying to decide. With the hanged man, I think this person, um, they've kind of hit the pause button, whoever they are. Um, I feel like they, they're stuck and they're kind of waiting um, it could leave you very frustrated with this person. I feel like they, they're just, you're just hanging around waiting for this person and they're not doing anything. They're, you know, they need to figure out, do they want to commit to you or are they just going to flake off and, and, you know, flirt with you and then leave? So I feel like, um, there's no 
there's no fix right now. This person, they don't want to rush in to a decision. So they're kind of just, they're not making one. That's what they're doing right now. Um, with the Five of Swords, I actually think whoever this person is, I feel like um, they're sad. They are very sad. I think that um, they miss you. They really do miss you. And I think they don't know how to resolve this. I think they, they, ha they feel a lot of pressure on them from you. And um, they're not sure what to do right now. I feel like they... They don't want to fight, so they're kind of backing away. Um, they're not they're not making any move toward towards you. I feel like emotionally, this person is pretty exhausted because uh, they don't know what to do. All of their energy has been spent, and um, um, they need to make a move, but they're not sure. They don't want to make any wrong move. They don't want to make any errors. And so emotionally, they're not doing anything. They're just stuck. Um, with this spring card, this is really a good sign. This is showing that um, there is going to be a new beginning with this person. They do want to start a new beginning with you. I think they're, they're meditating right now on their goals. Um, and they're expecting good things to happen. So they're kind of like um, they're planting their seed and they're waiting um, for things to take off, for things to grow. So it's like um, things are going to start blossoming. Things are going to start progressing. And there's the promise of um, the buds soon to appear in the spring, you know. So I think it's like fresh ideas. This person, maybe they're meditating on things. They want to take some sort of action um, creatively. I think they're really... They're thinking about things hard. They're, they're hard thinkers <laughs> is what they're doing. Um, but they're, they're definitely thinking about making a long-term commitment to you. Um, but they're not sure how to do it. And they just, I think they're, they're they don't want to apologize for maybe some things of the past. And they're embarrassed about some things that they might have done. Um, let's get some charms for you. I'm trying to dig deep here, you guys. Okay, I dropped it. Okay, so we've got an E. So they could have an E in their name, their first name, last name. Okay, you've got an A, so A could be also in their name. Um, you've got the penny, so I feel like this person... Um, they're waiting for things to grow as far as their finances. I think um, they're meditating on how can they improve things, um, how can they make things better. With the lightning bolt, and also this is pink, so I think there was some sort of breakup um, related to a love situation. It could be with this person or with another person, but there was some sort of breakup and it involved a relationship or friendship, um, something. Okay. And then you've got this turquoise earring and turquoise is really about, um, healing. It's about a boost in your psychic gifts. Um, I feel like this person, um, intuitively, you may already know who this person is. Um, you've got the dancing shoes. So maybe you and this person, you've been out together dancing, or maybe that's something this person really would like to do. And then you've got this peace sign earring. So I think this person, they're really looking for harmony. They're, they're looking for... Um, things to be calm with you. So I don't think they want to fight. So maybe that was one of the problems of the past is there was a lot of fighting. And I feel like this, they don't want to fight anymore. Um, and they've retreated from you. Um, we've got this sea glass. Um, so this person could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, also, this is brown. And brown is about the home. It's about um, the earth. It's about stability. Um, it's about the comforts of home. So maybe this person misses that. Maybe you were like their comfort. Um, you gave them comfort somehow. 
and you've got this heart with a hole in it. So once again, I really think that this person, um, they feel incomplete. Their heart is really hurting without you. And then you've got this locket. So with the locket, I always get this person, they're holding their love up inside and they, they're, they're not letting it out. So they have all of this love for you, but I think they're, they're kind of stalling. They're, they're really not telling you about it. And then you've got this, um, this diamond earring. So, um, this person, I think they really, um, I think they want to spoil you. I think this person, they want a commitment with you. They want to buy you some diamonds. They, they want to make this promise to you. So it doesn't have to be a ring. It could just be, you know, some sort of offer to show you that they want something more, something tangible to show you. And then you've got this earring, um, this peace sign earring. So once again, I feel like this person, they do want peace with you. Um, so they don't want to fight anymore. Um, this is also pink. So I feel like there's a lot of love and the green is about growth. So there is love and this person, they do want growth with you, but they want things to be calm. And that could have been part of why you guys broke up. It wasn't, there was too much fighting is what I'm feeling for some of you out there. So that's all I have for you. Number three. Um, if you would like something more detailed, then definitely shoot me an email. It's amandarosetarot at hotmail.com. Um, also, my Etsy page, you can order reading over there as well. Um, but if you like my readings, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Um, also, share this with your friends so that they can also subscribe. And uh, once I get to 4,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a live reading and I'm going to do free card pulls for you guys. So um, keep subscribing and um, sharing with other people. We're getting so close to the 4,000 subscribers, you guys. So um, thank you guys so much. Love and light to you. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.